What's up everyone? So I finally got OBS Studio running completely smoothly on M1 Mac. I'll show you that I am actually using uh, OBS Studio, which is the Apple Silicon compiled version, and I've successfully installed it on my uh, local setup. OBS Studio is currently not supported for M1. They have given the information that the first release after 27.2 version would actually have the support for Apple Silicon, but that would actually come uh, later this year, and that is actually too much to wait for because they have already been working on this Apple Silicon support for in the development stage. It is not in production yet, but we can custom compile it for our own use cases. So, so I found this uh, article on a Japanese website, which I translated. I leave the link in the description. Today in this video, I'll be walking you through how to compile OBS Studio for Apple Silicon uh, using this tutorial. Uh, let's jump right into it. Before we actually start, make sure to note that this uh, custom build for OBS Studio for M1 Mac will not support uh, streaming to different platforms like YouTube or Twitch, etc. Because that requires secret keys from OBS development team, which we can't have because that is just under the hands of OBS team. And next there is this x86 underscore 64 thing. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm pretty sure that this is not affecting my use case. My setup for recording the screen and this camera with noise filters and custom uh, image masks are working completely fine. There are no lags and no glitches uh, so far. For basic usage, this is working pretty uh, good and it is actually better than using the Rosetta version out there. So let's start with the process. First, you have to open up uh, a terminal. Make sure that it is not Rosetta. So we can type in arch or type in uname minus m to check that uh, this is the actual ARM version, not the Rosetta one. So then you need to install Brew. I have actually made a short video on how to install Brew on M1 Mac. It will be linked in the cards above. You can check that out. Uh, I have Brew already installed, so I don't need to install it again. Next, we need to make sure that Brew is uh, installed in the correct destination. So we type in Brew config and then pipe pass in the pipe for grep opt. And this actually uh, gives us the information that brew prefix is in the opt uh, homebrew. If there's no output like this, you need to make sure that brew is installed in this location, not anywhere else. Next, you need to install some dependencies required by OBS compilation process. You can get them from the description below. Just paste them into the terminal and press enter and brew will install the dependencies for you. It will take some time. So let's wait for it. Once the installation process has completed successfully, you'll see something like this. Uh, from this, we need to add some uh, things into our path files. Uh, for example, bash or zshrc. From here, we need to copy this command uh, for uh, Qt to be present in the path. We'll open up a new terminal and copy this command over here. Next, we'll do the same for opt libcache. We just run this command again and remove the path for this and paste the path given here before this colon and dollar path. We paste it and this has been added to zshrc. That's it for the configuration from Brew. Now we can restart our terminal. Next, make sure to cd into the uh, root folder into your profile and make a directory for OBS Studio builds. And then we'll clone the OBS Studio project from GitHub. It's a pretty big project, so please wait for a moment before it downloads. So OBS has been cloned. Now we can cd into the folder. And from there, we just need to run the script with the following flags and it will build OBS for us. And this can take from five to 10 minutes. So let's wait. So when you see this uh, line that says code sign OBS disk image, uh, so you, that means that uh, OBS has been built. You can see all the logs over here while the build was being generated. You can CD into the build folder. Now what you can do is you can open that folder and you can see uh, below that there's a DMG file which you can double click and you'll see that you can you have the option to uh, drop the OBS studio into the application folder. This this is exactly what I did. So when you uh, just drop it into the applications folder, you will have the OBS app over here so that you can uh, just run it right away. Also do note that not all the plugins will be automatically built. There are built instructions for all the uh, components like virtual camera and some compatible plugins like StreamFX, Spectralizer, OBS and DI, etc. There are so many. You can check this, check this link to build all of them and install them correctly. So yeah, this was it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you are able to run OBS Studio on your M1 Mac. So if you have any problems, let me know in the comment section below. I'll happy to help you out if I can.